grew up um, in a normal sized family in Augusta, Georgia. We were generally a church going family. I think my parents' faith was incredibly important to them. Both my father and mother were Christians. They grew up in Christian households. So there was a always a performance based theology or whatever you want to call it that was in the back of my mind stating how can I be as good as I possibly wanted to be but I really did not know Jesus and I did not know that I could have a relationship with him and I go to college with the same kind of idea that I had you know throughout my youth kind of do whatever else I want but try to also be a moral or good person and that worked out for me for about a year but it felt like there was this hole in my heart that couldn't quite get filled. It wasn't, there wasn't anything satisfying or really real about the way I was living. And one summer, uh, after my freshman year, I came back. It was August for my sophomore year, and I'd gotten a new roommate. So he comes back on campus, really, really on fire for the Lord, and wanting to share with me the things that he had learned and what the, the Lord was teaching him. And while he was sharing the gospel with me and all these other things, I was kind of like, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. It's like, you've got your own, like, you know, you know church thing that you've got going on, but it's like, I'm all right. Like, I know my God grew up in the church. Like, I was, I was kind of pushing him off at arm's length, but still engaging with him enough to where I felt like I was checking that good moral Christian box. The guy who was leading him in a Bible study ends up inviting me to a Bible study. His name was Corey Gill. And it was the first time where I was actually looking deeply into the scripture and seeing what the Lord was revealing to me about my own heart, um, that I had been an enemy to him, that the sin that I was enslaved to was only going to bring forth death. And for the first time, like that struck me like a lightning bolt and I realized that and I was like, oh dear, like this sin thing is real. And I have to be saved from it. I can't do anything like to save myself from it. I need somebody to get me out of this. And I remember one evening, it was I, we had gotten back from another night of Bible study. And I had gotten back to my room and I was thinking to myself, I was like, I can't do this. Like I can't do this without Christ. Like he's the only one who can save me from the wrath that I deserve. And I remember um, getting down that night and praying to the Lord, it's like, Lord, I've sinned against you. I can't, there's no way that I can do anything to appease myself. It's only through um, the death of Jesus on the cross and his resurrection that, and my belief in him that I can be saved and be reconciled to you. So Lord, I wanna give my life to you. I wanna give my life to that. Um, and I remember that was, that was the night, evening, everything changed. And moving forward from there, the Lord, has, I've seen the ways that the Lord has produced fruit in my life and has drawn me closer to him, um, specifically through the ministry of campus outreach. Um, wanting to continue to emulate my life for college students so that they might know Jesus and so that they might be built up and grown up and, you know, be laborers so that they might replicate their lives as well.